So we moved Tim a little bit over to the left hand side of the screen. So this is Tim Ferriss. Now, if we draw a circle around Tim, we're a little bit more complete. The circle represents how Tim processes and perceives the world. I before E, except after E, before I, except after Y. So, how does Tim process and perceive the world? Now, check this out. Most people, okay, we're going to go through three different segments here. First one, visual, auditory, kinesthetic. Most people will process the world with a heavy reliance on auditory. What does that mean? Okay, pictures, sounds, feelings. Most people will process the world visually going through auditory to get to kinesthetic. Auditory is slow. Auditory is sequential. And what happens whenever you talk slow and sequential, you look at the reason why most people never get anywhere close to succeeding. So, VAK. This is what most people do. A long time ago, you went to school. And when you were in school, the teacher would put a problem on the board. Okay? In other words, what is this letter? Then put a problem up and ask, what is this? You'd raise your hand and answer auditorily. That is the letter V. After that, you hold your breath and you wait and you hope if you got it right, then you get the reward. You get to feel good. You get the little silver star. We call this the silver star syndrome. Okay? Visual, there's something out there that you're looking at. It's actually a visual external. The teacher asks you a question, auditory external, you answer auditorily, give the right answer, and then you get to feel good. So, what does Tim Ferriss do? Tim, visual, kinesthetic, side effect is auditory. Now, check this out. If you listen to Tim talk, listen to his tonality, listen to the speed in which he talks at, those are two indicators that tell me that he runs a lot of visual. Okay, so we listen to Tim talk. He runs a lot of visual. This shows up in everything that he does. The second thing that I notice about Tim is visual goes right into his kinesthetic. So Tim bounces back and forth between these two things. He sees something, he checks it out, notices how it feels. Sees it, notices how it feels. And he gives this auditory. Auditory for Tim is a side effect, and it's also how he refines his strategy. So auditory for him is a side effect, and it also is how he refines his strategy. Now, most people, I'm listening to an, to an interview of Tim the other day, and most people will run so much auditory, okay, until they finally get it all out, and until you agree with them, they don't allow themselves to feel good. So, you've got something in your head, it's probably a picture. You express it through auditory if you're the average person. In other words, you've got to talk it out. You've got to express it out. Make sure you say it correctly. Say it in a way that, you know, that they agree with. And then you get to feel good. Tim sees something and he plays with it. Sees something and he plays with it. Sees something and he plays with it physically. And, and while he's doing that, these little auditory reports, the side effects and the strategy keep evolving, keep showing up. Tim does something radically different than most human beings here. This is vital. If you want to duplicate his success and his, strat his strategies, his stuff, the thoughts that he has, you have to duplicate the thinking process and his way of perceiving that is around him. Literally everything in his universe gets processed through what I'm going to share with you today. So this is where we begin. Visual, kinesthetic. Again, he sees it pokes it, sees it, pokes it, sees it, pokes it. If you watch his videos, and, and if you just listen to him, you can tell he's the kind of guy that, would, if, he, if you were his friend, he'd see and he'd want to sneak up and poke you, or he'd tickle you, or he'd play some sort of game. He wants to get something going on in kinesthetic immediately. And the auditory again is a side effect. So, we'll be back in just a moment to explore a tiny bit more.